Hey, this is Movie Edge, and it's that time of the month again. It's over. The month is over. So I have to show you everything that I picked up this month of August. And uh, I do have another little box of stuff that came through the mail this week. And I was debating, should I do a separate video on that, or should I... Eh. So, that's going to be at the end of the video. Brand new stuff that I did not show this month yet. And, uh, I think I'm going to start out with a, um, non-media item. And, uh, I showed this in a previous video. But it is... The Hong Kong Disney Game Pin of um, Betamax, Baymax, dressed up like an, um, Kiwi. And, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this whole set, but, um, I'm getting close, but there are some that are really hard to get. Now, the guy that I got that off of, uh, on eBay, he was from Hong Kong, really good seller, came really fast. He also threw in a sticker, a Zoom Zoom <laughs> Baymax sticker, so that was cool of him. And he also threw in, I like collecting these now. Um, next time I go to Walt Disney World, I'm going to start collecting them as well. Uh, this is um, this is a uh, Lion King uh, for the um, Broadway show, but this is in, I uh, think this is in Hong Kong. Uh, since the Broadway premiere 1997, The Lion King has found blah blah blah. Uh, 90 million people. Where the hell is this showing at? I don't know, but it's somewhere in Hong Kong. And uh, I can't read the rest because it is in Chinese. But this is an awesome collectible that uh, I normally wouldn't have. So, boom. Thank you, eBay seller. Okay? So, this I'm going to add to my collection of, uh, of uh, programs, I guess, or maps, or whatever. This is... I don't know. But this is cool. That was the only non-media item non-media item I picked up this month. Um, I'm going to start with let's start with Disney, um, and we'll see. I'll show you what I got from Disney this month. Not much, not much at all. But um, had to have this. This was on sale when you pre-ordered a movie. You got this for about I think eight bucks or something, and usually this goes for more. It's Sister Act, Sister Act 2, Ooh, Whoopi Goldberg, and um, trying to collect, trying to collect as many Touchstone and Hollywood movies as possible, so, another one for the collection. Um, and of course, this one came out, everyone and their mothers bought this, it's Avengers uh, Infinity Wars. Which I still have to get around to watching. Maybe this weekend, I guess. Because I have a lot of other movies I'm going to watch too. Um, yeah. So, one of those features on the back. And, uh, yeah. So, that's that. And, uh, with that came the lithograph. Which I didn't show last time. Of, uh, Groot, uh, Thor, and Rocket. Really cool. Really cool with the graph. And, of course, the pin of the month was the gauntlet pin. So, yeah. The gauntlet pin. Not much detail to it, but it's still a cool collector pin. Because um, I think Disney World and Disneyland have a different type of pin. So, there you go. I guess that was considered an... Uh, non uh, media stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do now, Hamilton Books, well, HamiltonBook.com. Um, P. 
PMAC movies was raving about this. And, oh, you're going to get some good jars, but good prices. They're cheap, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. And I did find a lot of stuff here that I wanted. Such as the unrated version of The Ruins. Had this on DVD at one point. I sold it because I was going to get the Blu-ray and I never did. So, uh, yeah. It's a DreamWorks movie, by the way. So, The Ruins. It's all going to fall down, right? Then this one I've been looking for uh, for a long time. This is actually the Canadian version. Grindhouse, where it's both movies uh, with the um, trailers in between and stuff. And they made it into a double feature. That is awesome. That is great. i seen it on cable once, and then they just show them separate. You know. But you got uh, Planet Terror on here and Death Proof. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, another one. Hamilton Book. Take Me Home Tonight. I've been looking for this and looking for this. They had it for a really damn good price. So I finally got it. Uh, great, um, I, I want to say a great uh, movie depicting the 80s. And this is where uh, Anna Ferris actually met Chris Pratt. Uh, and then they got married. Now... Not married no more, so does it <laughs> memories? Yeah. So that one was uh, uh yeah. This is directed by um oh no, it was written by based on a screenplay by Topher Grace. Didn't do anything in the box office, but this it's a really good movie to check out. In my opinion. Another one was a... Um, another one was a uh, biopic that I never checked out. And that was Gorillas in the Mist. And... Um, you, um, it is uh, about Diane Fossey. And how she took care of these gorillas and stuff like that. Kind of like what Jane Goodall does with the chimps. But... Uh, not a good ending. Not a not a happy ending at all. So if you haven't seen this movie, check it out. And uh Yeah, Scorny Weaver. This one came out I think in the nineties, I wanna say. No, I'm wrong. Eighty eight. So it is pretty good. Pretty Wonder Brothers. What the wait, 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 wait. Right, that could be wrong right there. Uh, I can't see any other dates on here. 1988, but it says Warner Brothers Inc. And you, oh, okay. That's because it was a Warner Brothers Universal uh, collab. Okay. That's why. Okay. Um, this one, I got, <laughs> I got the Marine 4. From the Dollar Tree. My wife went to a Dollar Tree. And she's like. Oh they got Marine 4. I go, I'm just going to grab it for you. Because you don't have it. I'm like. Whatever. I don't have the other ones. But they did have them there. For. This is like six ninety five For a three pack. I'm like. Okay. I'll, I'll check them out. First one. With John Cena. i seen bits and pieces of it. I think is the best. Uh, then they made one with Ted DiBiase Jr. The rest of the movies, which go up to five, um, I only have four of them, uh, made with The Miz. And, um, yeah. Actually, the TV show he's on right now, uh, Miz and Mrs., it's it's actually a really good reality show. And uh, it's, it's pretty much over right now. Uh, it was a season finale this past week. Um, but... I mean, they, it, the Miz is hilarious on that show, and um, I forgot his wife's name. I think it's Maurice or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. Although, but that that show way better than the Bella Twins. I'm telling you. Uh, so that's the Marine set. Finally, from um, 
Um, Hamilton Book. Yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Hamilton Book got this for 11 something. Everywhere else it's $19 or close to it. And this is Lifeboat, uh, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. And uh, this, this one came out in 1944, 97 minutes. The cast is great. Um, I'll give you a shot at a cast right there. The cast is great. It's a Kino Lobber release. And um, yeah, Kino Lobber release. So yeah, I do have more Kino coming up, so stay tuned. Um, I'm going to do one here. <laughs> this, my dad has a um, Dollar Tree about five minutes away from his house. And since I told him I go to these Dollar Tree sales and blah, 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 blah. Uh, he went to the Dollar Tree over there and found all the Blu-rays that they had. He bought one of each. And most of them I already had. I was like, I'm looking at them right now. One, two, three, four. And this one in my hand would be five. Four out of the five, or one out of five, I only needed this one. So those I'm going to give to my cousin-in-law. And yeah, she wanted them. She was looking for them. Dollar each. I don't care. Um, so this day they don't stack up and, and stuff like that. And they're like doubles or triples that I got because I have more to sell and uh, this one right here is one I've been looking for um, originally when it first came out I don't know if it was like a year ago year and a half ago but Toys in the Attic I was looking for this animation movie and um, yeah check out that cast really really good and uh, it kind of looks like a Tim Burton-ish movie and the toys come to life and blah 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 kind of looks like toy stories and about a darker toy stories so this this one I can't wait to check out I like animation movies that I never heard of before or never seen that was hamiltonbook.com go check them out they have a lot of good old releases on there for starting at like Three ninety-five and up. So, and they're all brand new. None of them is really used. I mean, they do have used movies, but if you click on DVD or Blu-ray, they have new ones. So, yeah. Next, uh, I want to do. Uh, okay, what was the name of this company? Classic Flicks. Now, this is the second release I bought from Classic Flicks. First one I bought from them was The News Hangs High with uh, Amina Costello. Great transfer, great Blu-ray. This one is actually a DVD, but it's a great set. It's uh, Thelma Todd, Patsy Kelly, when they got teamed up with Hal, uh, that Hal Roach teamed them up and made a comedy team out of them. And uh, it lasted between 33 and 36. The ones before 33 three uh, was Zazu Pitts and Thelma Tad, which is coming out from another company which I don't know the name of but that one's coming out in October which I'm gonna get my hands on so I have all the shorts this one here has um, all the shorts that they made together and uh, after unfortunately she passed away she died it's still a mystery today how she died um, look up, look up, uh, Jordan the Lion. He has a great, um, just documentary style video on how she died and where she died. Jordan the Lion on YouTube. Um, after, sadly, Thelma Todd died, she could have been a great, a great, great actress. Um, they decided to put Patsy Kelly with two other comedians, and uh, one 
comedian they put her with only did one short. And the other comedian they did two shorts with. And then after that, I think she was in a f movie. Um, teamed up with some other comedian. And then she was in some other movie with Charlie Chase. Which there's a Charlie Chase set out right now from the company that's going to put out the Zazu Pitts and Thelma Todd set. And um, that set is uh, basically all his talkies, but it's only a volume one. And then there's a, a really cool, um, I think a Spanish version of the Pip from Pittsburgh. So I want to I wanna try to get that set as well. Um, but yeah, this is um, a really well done set. And... Uh, Got yeah, like the hinges and everything. I highly recommend this set if you're a Thelma Todd or Patsy Kelly fan. Okay. Patsy Kelly did other things in her career, but they mostly stereotyped her as the maid or the sarcastic person or whatever. And uh, they did that because she was the first woman in... I don't know if it was in movie history or in just in general, that came out as a lesbian and, you know, it just came out as a lesbian. She just said it right out and really didn't do that, like, really didn't, uh, how do you, it didn't make that much uh, waves back then. I don't know. At least it's, I didn't see anything. But she went on making movies, and uh, if you actually see Rosemary's Baby, she's actually in there as the comic relief. And, um, yeah, so that's enough on this one, but good set to buy. And it is Region 1 DVD, so, yeah, unless you have a Region Free Player, they did have this set in the UK at one point. All of them at one time, but I can't find it anymore. This is good. And when the next set comes out, or yeah, when the other set comes out in October, I'm getting them both. Or I'm getting that one. Okay, <gasps> enough with this. All right. Um, next, just did a video on this not too long ago. So I'm, I'm just going to randomly go, I'm just going to quickly go through these we went to uh the wife and i took the day and uh went to uh 7-elevens we went to about five 7-elevens to see the movies that they had for 2 .99. and the movies that we were looking for they had some and some they didn't first one this was a different day we went to uh, uh the one closest to us two minutes away had nothing but the one that was on like off of an expressway ramp that was about 10 minutes away from us had a lot of stuff and the first thing that they had was the something I was looking for analyze this analyze that this is going for you know up in price um, on Amazon so if you do happen to see this grab it it's a really good set you know, Warner Brothers, I don't know if they still put out these kind of sets often, but these are good sets. Next, from 7-Eleven, uh, needed to upgrade this from DVD to Blu-ray. Something Borrowed. Actually, it's a good flick with uh, John Karninski's in it and uh, Kate Hudson. And... Um, what year did this come out? I don't remember. Don't remember. 2011? This was supposed to be a sequel to this. I don't know what happened to it. But when I opened this up, because I knew it was kind of heavy, it already had... Well, it had a crappy digital uh, copy in there off the disc, which I already had a digital copy for, and that's expired to begin with. Uh, but I had the DVD version in there as well 
so I didn't have to take my old DVD copy and make this a double. So I got it. Next movie I can't really comment on because I didn't see it. Winter's Tale, starring uh, Colin Firth. No, Colin Farrell and Russell Crowe. Looks interesting. I'm gonna check it out. Next, a movie I checked out on cable, and I said, "Wow, I want to. I want to get this on Blu-ray eventually when it goes down." It has Steve Carell in it, and uh, Steve Carell plays a douche in this movie, but it's the way way back. And uh, I think this is second place. Uh, I don't know. I it, it's it's the '80s, maybe. I can't find it now. Good movie. If you haven't seen this movie, it is awesome. Discard. Uh, I had a digital code, but I sold it already. Next movie I have to give another try to, and it's the five-year engagement. Maybe I will play the um, theatrical version instead because the extended version... Didn't do it for me. Some people, a lot of people love this movie. They think it's hilarious. I sat through it. I didn't laugh once. But maybe I was tired. Or I just didn't feel like watching this movie. But I usually like Apatel movies. Apatel produced movies. And this one, I gotta give it another try. If not, it's in a collection. Why not? This one, I have not got on DVD or Blu-ray as of yet, and that is The Last Boy Scout. Last Man, Last Man Standing, I'd never seen. So, But The Last Boy Scout, I wanted to get my hands on that and uh, check it out. I haven't checked it out in years. And, uh, yeah, good, great cast in that. Um, all right, Last Boy Scout. Bruce Willis. Can't go wrong with Bruce Willis. Well, his newer movies you can. But anyway, this is one that uh, PMAC Movie was asking me to find, and I did. And it's going to be shipped out to him as soon as I get some, uh, as soon as I get my next uh, Hamilton book order in, because he ordered something off of me. So I'm, after that, I'm going to get it. This is Fear. Found him a copy, because there was two there, so I grabbed one. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen this movie, but it has a great cast. Um, Reese Witherspoon, Melissa Milano, those two names alone, it's great. And Mark Wahlberg. Enough said with that. Uh, okay, this next one was my uh, wife's pick, which looks good. And I probably would have picked this out too. Uh, it's um, uh, Violet and Daisy. And it's got uh, James Gandolfini in there. Rest in peace. Uh, but this looked like a really interesting dark comedy of a movie. And, uh, you know, Danny Trejo is in it too. So, yeah, it's an independent film. Um, so, give this a shot. I don't think I've ever heard of it before. And then there's director's notes in here. Yeah, so... They rare, this is an independent release, okay? I mean, they didn't really do any artwork, but this is an independent release. And they put more time and effort into it than major motion picture companies. Like Universal or Paramount or Warner Brothers. I don't know why. Next is... Cahill. It's a um, John Wayne movie, which I never actually heard of. United States Marshal. It's the whole title. And um, it came out in 73. But I do not remember seeing this. I do not remember hearing about this. Maybe it was one of his movies that just didn't do any well. That just didn't do that well. Um, it's under his production company, so John Wayne actually produced this, his company. The only other name I recognize in here is George Kennedy, and uh, George Kennedy was in the uh, 
Naked Gun movies, that's right. There's a bunch of other classics too, but uh, yeah. I'm trying to look for producers. Um, yeah, it just has his production company on here. It doesn't have it doesn't have him as a producer. But um let me check it out. Towards the end of his career, he made some really good really good westerns. The storylines were better than his earlier stuff. Now this one here, my wife picked up. I was like, why'd you pick this up? I need the other one. I need the first one. Um, that's all I wanted was the original one, but Beethoven Treasure Tale. But I looked at the cast. Jonathan Silverman, uh, Christy Swanson. Really good right there. And then there's a uh, David DeLuise. I don't know if he's related to Dom DeLuise, but um, I don't know. And Jeffrey Combs, he was in um, Frighteners, yeah. And uh, you got uh, Udu, Udu, Tyler Keeler. I'm butchering that name. And that is him right. Wait, where's he at? Him right there. He's a uh, Filipino comedian. It's been a lot of TV shows and movies. He's hilarious. So, I might give this a shot, see what happens, and, uh, yeah, it's a DVD Blu-ray combo with the digital every so, actually went fast. Alright, so, let's do, let's do, what is this, eBay, let's do eBay next. Let's do eBay next, let's do these, okay. This one I got for a really good deal, factory sealed, and a really good price. It was like $12.99, and it's going for a lot more at the store right now. That is Blackers, the unrated edition with John Cena. Yeah, and uh, Ike Barinholtz, and... Uh, and... Da -da 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 -da. Leslie Mann. How can I forget her name? And, um... I have not seen it yet. I need to check it out. And, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of special features on this as well. But, yeah. Blackers. I don't know why Leslie Mann's daughter uh, wasn't in this movie. She would have probably made you know, more sense to use than just a regular actress. I don't know why. But. Um, it's right there. Next one, everyone and their mother got this movie, A Quiet Place. I got this one off of eBay as well uh, at a good price. It just didn't come with the digital code, which I didn't give a crap about. So I got the DVD Blu-ray combo. And uh, originally I wanted this on 4K. Nobody had good deals for it. So I got the Blu-ray copy of it, which I have to check it out. So maybe this weekend, free time, I'm going to check this one out. And uh, John Karninski, see how good he did directing on this. I love his style. I love his comedy. I love his personality. Um, that Jack Ryan show that he's doing... Uh, I think it's on Netflix or Prime. I don't know. I forgot. But it looks great. It looks like it was made for him. So, yeah. Um, hopefully that doesn't take him away from doing other movies. But, Quiet Place. Gotta check it out. Uh, this one took me over a year to get. Originally, they were released at Walmarts. People just grabbed them, showed them online and stuff. Could not find it. It's the Teen Wolf double feature. I didn't want to get the Shout Factories, like, collector's editions because it's really, you know, it was really kind of t 
too expensive for both those movies. This one I paid 20 bucks for for both. And um, there's no special features on here, not even trailers, but it's better to have them in one set than, you know, taking them broom. It's nice. I like it. Um, like I said in the previous video, there's some deleted scenes I wish they would have put either in this or the other um, um, releases. If they did put the deleted scenes in there, I would have bought the other ones. But, oh, not a fan of Team Wolf 2 that much, but, meh. Next, this is one i seen on cable out of time. I'm like, wow, this is a damn good movie. Uh, first time I seen it. And um, I looked it up. Going for a lot of money right now on uh, eBay and Amazon. So I looked it up. I kept on looking on uh, eBay. Found a used copy in great condition. You know, it's a two disc set, it's not on one. And uh, now I own it. So it's Man on Fire and Out of Time 2 Denzel Washington flicks. That, um, yeah, one came out in 2004. I think it's that one. And this one came out in 2003. So why isn't it opposite? I don't know. Um, yeah, good stuff. More for the Denzel Washington collection. I do have more of his movies, just not that much. Next. This one I had to have in the collection. And when I seen Criterion's coming out with it, I looked at it and that cover art was just nasty. It looks like they put together that in a like a Adobe Photoshop cut and paste, man. This artwork, much better from MGM. And there's still a lot of bonus features on. My fingers are only. A lot of bonus features on here and stuff. So, you know, why not? And it's got artwork. And uh, I didn't even pay that much for this. No. So, <laughs> better deal. Yeah. You could probably find that at the, like, if you go to, like, Dollar Trees or maybe even big lots or go to your local um what's that store uh not local but um second and charles you'll probably find that last but not least that i got off of uh ebay was a movie that i was dying to see i still am but you know it's gonna take me a while another one for the alfred hitchcock collection Strangers on a Train. This movie is actually... Is, i only seen bits and pieces of it. But this movie is actually awesome. Special releases... Or special features. Right there if you could read it. And this... Another great Hitchcock movie. Uh, but is... It's... It's 1951. And... Um, yeah... This one has the um, final version on it, which is 101 minutes. And the preview version, which is 103 minutes. So I guess the preview version was like the version that they showed audiences um, before it came out. And there might have been one scene or whatever that Hitchcock was like, yeah, I got to cut that out. And it's. 101 can't be much i'm gonna watch i'm gonna actually watch the extended version first well the the preview version first and then i'm gonna watch the other version and see what's the difference that was all ebay stuff next i'm gonna uh, next i got a lot from amazon here <laughs> whoa almost fell off the bed okay from here all Amazon stuff. Yes. Um, movie that I never seen, but I wanted it for my Christopher Nolan collection. And I heard mixed reviews about it, but I got it anyway. 
The Prestige with uh, Christian Bale, Hugh Jackman, Michael Caine, Scarlett Johansson, <laughs> and uh, David Bowie was in this. Rest in peace, David Bowie. Um, of course, this is a uh, Touchstone Pictures, so another one for the Touchstone collection. And, um, yeah, that's about it. I don't like these older releases because uh, I do have, what was it, um, I was watching uh, Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy and I have this type of version right here. It didn't stop, it just kept on on a loop. It's like after the movie was over you think, oh it's going to go to the menu, no, kept on looping, it's like why make videos like that so I don't know if they all do that or it was just that one but whatever and the DVD was better on that movie as well because there was a lot more um, uh, what do you call a lot more um, stuff on it bloopers and moving on this one was the only one I was missing in the Planet of the Apes and this is the Tim Burton Planet of the Apes. I actually like this film. Wish they would have made more, but they didn't. And uh, got it for a cheap price. Got it for five ninety nine off of Amazon. And uh, yeah, I mean, it could have been something, but people just didn't like it. Next, I don't know if I showed this or not. I don't think I did in previous videos. I got this for five ninety nine too. Uh, on Amazon, and that is uh, Lost City of Z, which I really want to see. And um, this is from um, Amazon Amazon Studios, and uh, Amazon Studios and um, Broad Green Pictures. So yeah, and it is. I'm looking for the shit. Okay, the time is 1.40. 140 minutes. It's rather a big, it's rather a long movie. And uh, it came out in 2016. Um, so yeah, World, or The Lost City of Z. Or as they like to say it in the UK, The Lost City of Z. Um, yeah. Kind of cheap artwork there but eh. for $5.99 it's a great pickup it's got uh, Tom Holland in it how bad could it be please don't leave messages saying it's bad you did a mistake okay another one I got from Amazon when they were having sales The Birdcage $5.99 hilarious movie Especially the um, the toast scene where they're eating toast at the table in the cafe and they're trying to teach each other how to be straight but they're, you know, having issues. Um, hilarious scene. The movie itself is great. Um, it is a hundred... No, it's two hours. 119. Two hours, same thing. And um, Hank Assyrian hilarious in this movie I think this is before he got famous famous um this the year this came out what year did this come out 96 so he was Hank Azarian was doing the Simpsons um at that time and uh he was in some other movies too but really small parts um but Hank Azarian great uh Nathan Lane hilarious and of course, the great Robin Williams, you know, rest in peace, Robin Williams. And um, yeah, well worth checking out if you haven't seen it. <sighs> Getting tired, but I don't have much left. Next, everybody and their mothers, of course, got this one. And that was Deadpool, the super duper blankety blank cut 
And uh, yeah, can't wait to check this out. I'm going to have to check it out this weekend. Um, I want my wife to watch this with me. So if she does, she's going to have to watch the first one, then this one. And uh, it's, it's hard to believe that... Um, oh, God, what's his name? What is his name? It's hard to believe that uh, Josh Brolin is in two Marvel movies. He played Thanos, and then he played Cable. It's hard to believe that. And he got two good roles. Um, yeah. Don't know. It would be great. It'd be great, but I don't know how it's going to work. If Deadpool just made a cameo in a uh, Marvel movie, uh, Avengers, or, you know, another character's movie, that would be awesome just in and out, you know, that would be great, but I don't think that's going to work, I don't think Disney's going to stand for that, even though Disney owns 20th Century now, whatever, i got to check that out, next, another, another uh, Alfred Hitchcock movie, Ingrid Bergman, starring in Under Capricorn, and um, Joseph Cotton, uh, I recognize his name, but the the other two people I don't. I've never seen this uh, movie before. It is in Technicolor, and it's from 1949. 117 minutes, so it's close. To, it's two hours exact. Well, not exact, but it's two hours. Um, Transatlantic Pictures put this out, but CBS owns this now. All right, I just seen a video on Star Trek. Why is there not a fourth Star Trek? And they were talking about you know CBS owns the older stuff, and the newer stuff is. It was a copyright issue, so yeah, Paramount still owns certain things. And then CBS on certain things, so it's kind of hard to understand. But this one, it's got reversible artwork, but I like the artwork that I have. Another Kino Lober release. I got one more to pick up from um, from Kino that is a uh, Alfred Hitchcock title. Um, I forgot the name of it. But um, people are, I've seen reviews on it, and people are saying, not that good. Well, it's the movie's good, but the transfer's kind of eh. So, I don't know. I'll probably get it when it goes down in price. Another Kino. There you go. Now we're going to get into two 4Ks. Two, two 4K sets that I bought uh, on Amazon when they were on sale. They still are good prices. The Predator 3-pack. And I think this is just... I think this is just 4K? I'm not sure. No, this is both 4K and Blu-ray. Um, you can see it's like boring, boring, boring artwork. But, uh, yeah, I want to check out um, Predator as soon as I can. Um, selling the... Blu-ray Predator and everybody, because those are actually old discs, and the cop and the uh, transfer on those aren't that, it's not that great. This is going to look phenomenal, and listen, or listen, hear uh, the difference between the old DVDs, or the old Blu-rays, and now the new 4K. And uh, I don't know about the new Predator movie, but. I'm on a fence about that. I'm like, ah, I don't know. Now, I don't know if they're making Predator, you no, know, Alien versus Predator, or is it called Predator versus Alien? I think it's Alien versus Predator, but I have both of those movies, and I was just wondering if they're going to put those out in 4K soon, because I would love to have the whole collection in 4K. Next one, and I'm pretty sure this is still on sale. Because they're trying to get rid of it. Because there's a new collection coming. And that is the Jurassic Park 
uh, collection 4K. Wait, upside down? There it goes. 4K set. This set is fantastic. It comes like a digi book. You open it up. You know, it's got the 4K version first. And then it's got the Blu-ray version. No 3D versions in here. Because I guess they decided not to do that. Um, I do have the 3D version one with all the movies in it. But that one I'm going to go sell um, at Second and Charles. Um, they're having a sale Labor Day weekend, which will be this weekend, starting today the 31st. You buy five movies, get five movies free. So I'm going to go over there, get store credit, which they give you more store credit than they would cash. And I'm going to see what I could get. And uh, if I can film in there, I'll try. Because sometimes they're kind of weird about filming in there. What are you doing? Why is your camera out? You know, and then you just lie to them and say, I'm looking up a movie. Uh, I, I, look, I'm looking it up. I'm trying to find out what's it worth. <laughs> so that was the Amazon collection. Um, or the Amazon pickups. Now, this next box here is going to be... Um, yeah, well, I'll start with the Amazon pickup, which, weirdest thing is, I canceled this way before they shipped it off, and it still came to my house, because I thought, oh, I'll just get it, I'll get it later. Um, good movie, I've only seen it once, but it's a great movie. Tucker, um, Tucker, The Man in His Dream, with, uh, Jeff Bridges. Great film, Francis Ford Coppola. And the one thing I did not know was um, George Lucas was executive producer. You can see that Lucas sign on there. A little closer. It's a Lucas sign. Now, why doesn't Disney have the rights to this? I, I, don't, I don't know because they own all of Lucas's stuff. This is from Lionsgate. And not anywhere on here does it say Buena Vista. So it's kind of weird. It is an all-region release. So that's good. And I thought it was only going to be here in the States. It is in the UK. You can buy this in the UK. Um, so, didn't know that. Uh, but if you're interested, and uh, you are from the UK... You want it cheaper? America. Because I got it for like 10.06, but then the day they shipped it off, it went down to 9.96. So they gave me my refund back of like I think 31 cents and like one penny of that was like taxes. So I'm like whatever. But this is a really good movie if you haven't seen it. Um um, Preston Tucker created this car called, I think, the Torpedo. Um, but it never got off the ground. So, yeah, it's an interesting story. Very interesting. If you're if you're a car enthusiast, or whatever, great biopic. Next eBay, eBay. This one I've been looking for for a while, and that is Doctor Strange Love. But this is the Digi Book release. Got it used, but it is in mint condition. Um, the back. See these Columbia ones? They put everything on the back, which I like and I don't like. If it was a J card on here. There'd be no information at all, not even the barcode. So this way, you have the barcode, you have the information about the movie. Eh, I guess it's okay. This one comes with a uh, nice picture disc right there. And, um, you know, you get a uh, nice... If I could find a picture, you get 
if I could find a good picture, I would show it to you. You know, some good pictures in here. And some... There's behind the scenes footage. If I could find it, that'd be great. Um, well, you get, like, a lot of stuff to read in here. But this... I was, de I was depending. I was debating. This one or the uh, Criterion. I like this one better. Uh, in fact, I do collect a lot of Columbia um, Digibooks. So. Another Digibook to the collection. Next, I want to do this one because this is from Amazon as well. And uh, I was debating to get it or didn't get it. I pre-ordered it once and I'm like, eh, I don't really need that right now. So I canceled it. Then I thought about it again. I'm like, oh, I want it. So what am I talking about? Upgrade. This movie, the trailers alone looks fantastic. Comes with the digital code, which is already gone. Um, and uh, yeah, this guy is phenomenal. Uh, just the trailers alone and the clips that I've seen. Phenomenal job. And uh, it is one of those... Um, he gets paralyzed movies. And um, he gets paralyzed. Uh, he watched his wife get killed by these four guys. So he wants to take revenge out on him. He's in a hospital. This one guy comes up to him and says... I can give you the ability to walk again. You just gotta implant this. And um, from there on in, he kicks ass. He's got a, com like a computer uh, like helping him out in his body and stuff and his nervous system. This is gonna be awesome. This I actually might watch today. Uh, upgrade. I got this, I think, yesterday in the mail. So, yeah. Crappy disc, though. Boring. Uh, Universal, I guess, stop with the blue and they went with the red. I don't know. But uh, I like the fact that it's only Blu-ray digital. It's now Blu-ray DVD. You know, because do I really need the DVDs? No. Um, I don't know. The only thing that really com pisses me off is this. These should be stickers. I don't give a shit about rotten fucking tomatoes. I don't care about the rating system. I don't care what people think. If I want to see a movie, I want to see it. I'll tell you what I think about it on my channel. But uh, Rotten Tomatoes, not a fan. Not at all. Okay. Uh, eBay. Yes, eBay. It's the last eBay one. And this is another... Alfred Hitchcock movie, Stage Fright, which not on Blu-ray anywhere. Not here, not in Europe, and uh, not even in Germany. Sometimes Germany has releases that we don't get. Checked every place, nothing. This is out of print now. I'm lucky I found this for, I think, 14 bucks, And this is out of print. It was brand new factory sealed. And it's got the making of documentary of the movie and um, theatrical trailer. That's about it, but it's Warner Brothers. So, yeah. I mean, this will probably end up at a Warner Brothers archive somewhere. And there's the nice disc. This will probably end up on Warner Brothers archives if it is out of print. And um, from there... You know, it could be on Warner Brothers Archives DVD, or it could be on Warner Brothers Archives Blu-ray. If it does come out on Blu-ray, I'll make this and the Blu-ray double pack, if, if so. Um, that was the only other DVD I got this uh, month. Okay, next is stuff that I got from PMAC Movies. And I'm going to go with the stuff that I bought first from him. First one, he found this at um, Big Lots for three bucks. And uh, I said, yeah, I want that movie. Uh, I seen it once, one time on cable, and it, it just blew me away on how good it was. Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. Ugh! Mel Gibson 
and Julia Roberts conspiracy theory also starring uh, Patrick Stewart as the bad guy um yeah this is um this is directed by Richard Donner and this is Warner Brothers so it's all region and how long is this movie 135 minutes over two hours and uh, when did this movie come out what year 1997 so yeah for some reason for some reason I thought this movie was from Touchstone for some reason but I was thinking of Ransom so but I got a brand new factory seal copy from him so great job PMAC thanks for getting a hold of me on that one because it's a great movie the second one that I got from PMAC, which he was, you know, he was uh, selling because he upgraded to 4K. And it is the um, Dark Crystal, the uh, anniversary edition. What anniversary edition? I don't know. But it's got a lot, and I repeat, a lot of special features on here. And uh, it's all region, in case you're wondering, in the UK. Uh, this is also a, uh, yeah, Sony, this is a Sony, um, release, it's a Jim Henson company, <sighs> yeah, there are certain Jim Henson stuff that did not make it to Disney, didn't, it, it's still under, um, Sony, Columbia at the time, but, uh, yeah, so these type of movies, Gonna come out through Sony. Um, great, oh, great book. I mean, there's some great stuff in here. Um, let me take that out. But look at that, Jim Henson and everything. Rest in peace, Jim Henson. He left us before his time, man. He really did. And uh, his son's still directing. And doing stuff, and he just his son just directed the uh, Happy Time Murders. Didn't really do that well at the box office, but you know when it comes out cheap, five dollar bin, I'll probably pick it up. Um, but yeah, Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal, really dark movie. I don't suggest this for kids. It kind of frightened me when I was a child. I used to watch this on HBO. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of creepy, you know. It's kind of like Labyrinth. Labyrinth kind of creeped me out, too. I have to take a visit to that again. All right. Uh, PMAC Movie is in I. We decided to... He, he ordered stuff from uh, Kino Laber sale this past month. And I said, can I order stuff with you? I'll pay. And he said, yeah. So I picked out one, two, three, four movies. And then he picked out, I think, three. And he showed it on his past video, I think. And the movies that I picked up from Kino Lauber, cheap ones, too. I mean, they rarely have their prices go down in price. So, yeah. First one, had to have this. Robin Williams and T Tim Meadows. Tim Meadows. My God. Tim Robbins in Cadillac Man. This also has uh, uh, Pamela Reed. And she is from... Um, I want to say she was from uh, Kindergarten Cop. She was a female cop. Fran Drescher is in here as well. Um, yeah. And if you haven't seen this movie, it's hilarious. Hilarious, classic comedy from Robin Williams. Of course, they have generic artwork, but... Yeah, I finally got this in my collection. Next one uh, from Kino Lover is... Uh, Paris Holiday. Seen this movie. It's a Bob Hope movie. Seen it. 
Um, uh, Turner Classic Movies. It's a great movie. It's a very good comedy. And um, the only problem with this movie is that um, no special features. No trailer, no nothing. I would have loved to see that stuff. But, eh, whatever. Here's the back. I want to pause it and read it. I think I have every single Kino Lobber release from from Bob Hope right now. So I had to add this to the collection. Hopefully they come out with more. Um, okay, this one next. This one i never seen before. I knew of it. i just never seen it. And it's got Peter Falk, D.B. Sweeney, and Julianne Moore. And the other, and this this one's got special features. It's got all me of audio commentary from stars, DB Sweeney and theatrical trailer. And that's from '95. It's just, this is a Hollywood picture one, so it's another one for the Hollywood Touchstone Picture Collection. And there you go, Roommates. First time watch for me. I heard it was really good, and um, yeah. In fact, Wet Movie One bought this movie and uh, he said he loved it when he was when he was younger and he used to watch it a lot so I'm going to give it a shot and um, yeah that's it <laughs> on that one right there. last but not least is a Zero Mostel uh, movie that I never heard of before or I never seen maybe I have when I was younger and when I see it again I will, it'll ring a bell in my head. Because there was some stuff that I'd probably seen when I was younger. Because my family, uh, my grandparents, my parents, um, aunts and uncles and stuff like that, they used to watch classic movies all the time. From the 50s, 60s, 70s. And this is one of them that I just, I don't remember. It's from 76, 1976. It's only 86 minutes. It's a G-rated movie, but it's not really politically correct for now. Um, it's Zero Mostel uh, as a um, Charlie Chan kind of character. And um, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that name. Hoko, Hoki, I don't know. That's the character he's playing. It's right there, Hoki. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's really not politically correct where he plays an Asian character, where they could have just got an Asian character to play it. But, um, back then in 1976, there was no real big deal about that. Uh cheap insides no nothing else but uh yeah i'm looking forward to uh checking this out none of the stars on here i recognize but they have been in other movies i just show it to you again you could pause it yeah so yeah that seem kind of interesting they're comparing it to the Pink Panther that it's better than Pink Panther I highly doubt that um that's it I'm done what are we at a hundred and four no no it's like hour and four minutes pretty good I didn't want to go over an hour but I did but uh that's it for this month got a lot of stuff here September, I already started. I already started it. The stuff that didn't come... <coughs> sorry. The stuff that didn't come yesterday or today, but the mail comes late. Um, that'll be in September's haul. But I will do mail hauls here and there to show you what I get. Alright? This is Movie Edge signing off. And remember, movies... Stuff is falling off the bed. Movies are your best entertainment. And you get a hold of me here. Leave a comment or question. 
thumbs up and subscribe and get a hold of me on Instagram at movie edge one take care people to my next video bye